So there's a lot of news going on today about illegal immigration and all that's unfolding, especially with the change of guards and now with new leadership in our country. And there's a lot of actions that have been taken as far as conversations about building a wall, uh, to having a ban on Muslims coming into the country. And so I want you to know that regardless of what's happening, we take care of patients in the emergency department, whether you're here legally or illegally, we see all. And I see hundreds of patients a year that's here illegally, and I know they're here illegally because they're a little bit shy, a little reserved, they are not forthcoming in information, they readily don't have ID, or they don't have an address or a job for that matter. So I know that they're here illegally just because of a lot of their mannerisms and behavior. And so our doors are wide open and we take care of all comers. It reminds me of a patient that I took care that I knew was here illegally um, because he told me he was. And so he came in, he worked for the circus, he was assaulted, he was attacked the night before and robbed unfortunately. And his, he was struck in the face and his nose was deformed, it was twisted and blood was gushing out. And he came in and he made it a point to me to say that he had to hurry up to to get treated because he had to make his way back to the circus because the show was leaving and going to another state. So I took his nose and I snapped it back into place and I told him he most likely would need surgery but that would help to stabilize until he was seen and treated at another state. So he left and he was discharged and you know I just could tell by his mannerisms and his actions that he was very unsure what will, will unfold and so I want you to know if you come into the emergency department we treat everybody. My job is to help you not to judge, to not do any harm, and I'm not in the position of reporting anybody as far as their citizenship is concerned. We treat everyone regardless of your status as a citizen or not a citizen. So it's important to make sure if you're not feeling well, or whatever your situation is, that you seek timely treatment. Do not wait to the very end because at that point your options of what I can do for you become limited and the consequences of waiting become grave. So make sure you seek timely treatment and make sure you make your way to the emergency department. And a lot of the patients that I take care of that's here legally, th these are folks that contribute to society, not in a negative way, but these are folks that often work manual jobs. These are usually, and not without sign of stereotypical, but these are usually our landscapers, our babysitters, our nannies are the folks that help to paint, they are mechanics. So these are folks that perform job that contributes to our society and helps us out on an everyday basis. So if you're not feeling well, regardless of your citizenship, make sure that you make your way to the emergency department and let the politics be what they are. Let the government figure out what they want to do in their stance and let me do what I do in the emergency department, which is take care of you.